yeah, just a quick video on what I've learnt so far, what I've figured out to do with the, you know, modelling for Anna. Uh, first thing you want to do is go and grab some Bohemia Interactive Tools, you know, the official ones, which were used for Anna 2. Um, that is over here, Bohemia Interactive Tools 2.5. The latest ones. It's actually made for Anna 2 Operation Arrowhead, but you know it. It's what everybody's using for Anna 3 as well. It's all necessary stuff. You know, for like converting it into PBO file to actually stick it in game. Plus Oxygen 2, which is like a 3D editing suite as well, but it's a bit crap and it's really hard to use. So we'll not be using that one much actually modeling but it's necessary as you'll see so yeah go and grab that uh, download it save I've already got it so I'm not gonna download it again and then next you'll want some actual 3d models to play with some actual armor models released by Bohemia uh, right. there's actually three different packages I've got there's Armour 1 models, which is, you know, like, animals, soldiers, vehicles, weapons, buildings. It's all sorts in there. It's very low polygon count, though, so the models are really, you know, basic. And as you would imagine from a, like, a ten-year-old game, or however old it is. Uh, and we've got Armour 2 sample models, which a bit better. It's a better package overall than armor free ones. Right, so let's have a look. Uh, armor one. It's worth having because you know there's a lot of variety in there to play about with. Like you can even piss about with rabbits if you want. Yeah, so I'll go grab that from there. It's clean as well, I've, s I've checked it all. And then, Armour 2 is over here. Don't worry, I'll put all links in description for you. Uh, yeah. Grab that from here. There. Sample models. That's the Armour 2 soldier. And then, the best one I found. There's the armor free characters. Yeah, it's natural armor free model which Bohemia have released. It's only one model though, just one soldier. But it's much better because it's got like a skeleton and everything with it. You know, so you can manipulate its movement and animate it and all that sort of stuff. It's ready to play with. So I'll go and grab that, save it. Um Right, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, do, 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 do. So yeah, the Armour 1 models uh, are all on, only compatible with the Oxygen 2 Bohemia tool. As you can see, they're all P3D files. Uh, yeah, so they'll, they'll need converting before you can use them in the 3DS Max. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But uh, also in this Armour 3 package you'll see that there's one that's already a 3DX Max file that's ready to go. You can just click on that and load it up into 3DS. And it's, it's, it looks brilliant. Really high polygon count so it's, you know, really complex looks brilliant. Anyway, first up, I'll uh, show you how to get the Armour 1 and Armour 2 models to work in 3DS and then back again. So first up, load up Oxygen 2. This is the Bohemia effort. Open. 
Wo ist der Abbruch? Ah, Storage in it. Ja. Modding. In fact, sorry, we'll, we'll go with Armour 2 model first. Give that a go. Now you'll see there's not much there. Right. Uh, we'll go with Soldier. I think this is like his head and something else. This is just like my body. Um, open it up. Alright, yeah. yeah. It's just a body and a helmet. There's no face in it. That's separate. So you can work on that individually and then merge them both together at some point. Hmm. Right, so we want to go to file and go down to I don't know if you can see it right I don't know what resolution is going to be like on YouTube eventually but probably all fuzzy as shit you want to go down to import no sorry export that's it export and then go down to 3D studio click find somewhere to put it I'm going to stick it in here and armor free stuff. I'm gonna call it Armor Tester. Why not? Save it as a 3DS file. Save. I haven't a clue what any of this is. That's something to learn later, didn't it? Okay. So that's saved. Get rid of that. Um, right. Then we need to open up 3ds Max. I <laughs> just give it a few minutes. It's a slow on this. I knew I should have put it on SSD. Did I load it up straight away? But I weren't sure if I'm going to be keeping it or not. Ah, that was surprisingly quick, actually. That's good enough. Yeah, so go up to open. Let's open a file. We need to find that term, the file just made. Did I put it storage? All my stuff. Modern. Nah, but you'll see if it's not there because it's looking for 3ds. So let's click it as all files. Ah oh shit, not too fast. Yeah. Click on that and then click on all files, it will show you everything then. Um armor tester. That's what we wanted, isn't it? So we're gonna head double click on that. Not got a clue what all this means. We'll figure it out eventually, I'm sure. Let's leave it as it is. Click OK. There we go. It is in. Right. Let's make this full screen. It's easier to see what you're doing then. Yeah. That's a, actually the Armour 2 model. We're looking at. Right, so I'm going to modify it a little bit. You know. So it can tell it actually works. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to. I don't know, let's just pretend he's been hit by a IED and he's lost no, his legs or something. Could use that in a mission actually. No, it's a bit of scenery. No, a few soldiers have been hit by IEDs and you've got to run in there and you know, make sure the air is clear and all that sort of shit. IEDs has ideas. That's so how do that how do I do this? No. Um Yeah, I wanna go up to this side up here. Click on modify and then come down and there's these little red shapes here. Uh, click on one that says face, it's like a solid red triangle face. Click it, I ain't got a clue what any of this shit does. Anyway, just you know, highlight a few bits, it'll turn it red. And uh, just hit delete, hit the delete key on your keyboard. Boof, his leg's gone. Shit, dead. And then, uh, we can 
piss about with this if you want. Right. I'm gonna move these polygons about a bit. You know, if, if you get into it, you know, you can learn how to do all this shit properly. I'm just gonna make it look a mess for now. Like his legs just been completely ragged off. Motherfucker. If that's so idea, why not? I'll blow up this leg up. We'll keep his foot as well. Boof. Make a mess of this. Poor bastard. That looks like it fucking hurt. Right. So then we've got that. Now, as it is, it's not compatible with um, Oxygen 2. So we're going to need to go up here, top left hand corner, then go down to Export. Yeah, and top option Export non native file formats from the current 3DS Max scene. Click it. Find somewhere to save it. By default, it goes into my documents, 3ds Max export. But for this, I'm just I'd rather stick it somewhere that I can get straight to. So I'm gonna stick it in storage. Now, before you type a name in the save, it you need to make sure grant it save as type, and then it's a second option from the top, 3D Studio dot 3ds click it. Give it a name. Um, Amputee Soldier will do. Now it, it'll add the .3ds extension automatically for you. Um, so click save. What's this? Preserve Max's texture coordinates. I, I don't know. Yeah. Alright. God, I wish I knew what, what we're doing. Right, so that's saved. You know, it's actually saved the model. And then, go back into Oxygen 2. Then what you want to do, you don't just, you can't just load it straight up, you know, you can't just go on open and then open it up. It'll not work. You've got to go on File, then import top option 3D Studio up top here. Yeah. Right. Go, go and find where you saved it. Um, where did I put it? Storage. The eyes there look. Make sure it's file type is set to 3DS. There's only one option anyway. Uh, yeah. Ampity. Um, no, I'm sure I called him Ampity Soldier. Shit, you know, have I saved it? <laughs> fucking lost it. Oh, fuck it anyway. I think that's it. Uh, open. Not got a clue what none of this is. Just click in part. To do with textures is missing, not figured that out yet. Okay. Right, is this. That's not him, that's chuffing somebody else. That's another amputee I've hammered. Where the fuck did I put it? Hang on, I'll edit this bit out. Put in the storage P dinner. There's the other look. MPT soldier. Put him in the wrong bastard place. Anyway, yeah, so fuck it, go back into oxygen. Remember, file, import, 3D studio. Uh, 
find where you put it. There we go. Amputee soldier. Open. Import him. Do, 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 do. Right. There we are. That's the geezer. Whoa. It's not that I'm going to use bloody controls on this one. It's weird. Uh, view front just makes it a bit easier to see what's going on. There we go, as you can see, his legs are completely fucked. I mean, how did I stop it from being wireframe? Ah, it's this little block up here. Look. Yeah. So, yeah, that's that. Now you know. That's his vest. So all these models are actually separate, you know. Wonder if you can remove them and stuff. Piss about with it. Anyway, that's all I know for s for now. Essential stuff, really, in it. At least I know how to get stuff to and from the uh, editing suites. So yeah, good stuff. Next is to figure out how to get some textures onto this shit. And get it into the game. And all stuff in between, such as animating. You know. Gotta make him stick finger up. Fucking gotta do it. Submission. Right.